Hi, I'm Derek Oxton with Rusted Ox, and today the welding project that I've got to do is build a, a bracket or a holding box for a mineral feeder for my pack goats. George is here. So where I'm going to mount it, I'm going to mount it on one of these internal supports. Um, so it's about, as he's getting on the top of me, um, I didn't bring down a tape, but uh, my hand span is about nine and a half inches. So if I plan on going 12 inch on center between the two boards, um, or even 13, I should be fine. And uh, so I'm going to head back into the shop and get working on that. So I'm not going to do anything special for this kind of project. And in fact, I'm going to be using scrap uh, metal that was left over from a pallet that I, part of it was used to make that target stand. Um, so I've got plenty here to make a small box. I'll have some vertical supports and I'll make some diagonal supports just because goats like to hit stuff and hang on stuff. This is the block. So it's a pretty good sized block, um, but I'll just make it to where it holds that. I'll have a frame around the bottom vertical legs on it and supports going down. So I'm gonna start breaking this material down and we'll get it welded up. Um, once I get it broken down though, I will set some jigs um, with the fence blocks or the pin blocks, whatever they call them. Um, and I'll get that all clamped down, get it welded and then hopefully get it hung before dark. So I'll get cutting. Let's get some stops put in here so we can start getting some measurements to make sure that we're going to stay square or place this with a little bit bigger one. So that'll be there. That'll set out. Okay. So now I've got to cut these legs to here, other side, and that'll be our base. So I'll get that cut. All right, so I got a little problem assembling this. And part of it's because it came off that pallet and some of these pieces are bent and I didn't pay that much attention, so the miter's a little bit off. Let's see if you can see that. As you look down that line, it is definitely not straight. So as I'm trying to put it in here, well, that means when I cut it, the angle's off. So as I come to put it in this miter, or this mitered corner, it doesn't fit up well. So I, if I go to put this in, it just doesn't fit right. And I think this piece is the culprit. Um, actually, this one was kind of the same stock. Man, it's bent too. So I'm going to, maybe I'll beat on it on an anvil. So this tail, if you can see that, I don't know if it'll focus or not, really curves out at the end. These two were cut off the same piece, so um, as you're using scrap material, try and make sure that they're in better condition than what this is. So what it's done is it's thrown the miters off a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump to the anvil, I'll pound it straight, um, check my dimensions again and see if it drops in, grind it a little bit if I need to, um, then it should drop in. What's awesome is the table um, illustrated or helped highlight the fact that this was not on because the dimensions are right, the lengths are correct, and they fit between these just fine. Um, but it's the curve when I, because this is square, when I drop it in, um, it doesn't fit. So Jason addressed that in one of the videos. I hadn't experienced that yet, um, but some bent metal will cause problems with that. So I'll see what I can straighten out and grind, and then I'll 
lay it up here in, in just a minute. All right, so I didn't have to grind anything, um, but by straightening out those corners um, and straightening out some of the bend in that, it's able to sit in here and it is locked in tight. Now, let me show you, I'll grab the camera. As you look at these miters, they're a little bit off, partly because on the chop saw, they're curving a little bit, so um, not a perfect fit, but doesn't need to be. So. Um, with this, I mean, it is locked in pretty tight. I'm going to drop in a few clamps. And I won't weld the outside on the table, or outside of the corner, um, until I take it off the table, just so I'm not spraying the table too bad. And some guys might be saying, well, I need to put more in here. Oh, that one. Slide that clamp down a little bit closer. Could I put more clamps in it? Sure. Um, but for what we're doing, not necessary. I'll do the last one on this. Actually, I really like these clamps. Um, the vice grip ones, I thought I'd like those more. Um, and up till this point, I like how I can just drop this one in and the height just drops in real fast where it needs to be spin it and it locks in um, so actually so far these are my favorite they're just really fast on any height material so with that locked in place nothing's moving i can throw another clamp here and here it's just not necessary um, so i will weld the inside of this and then i'll drop my sheet metal in come up with my vertical supports and then a diagonal and so get that welding and maybe we'll get we'll beat the darkness on getting this set up so all right we've got the welder now we've got to get the vertical support <clears throat> pull these clamps off and once it's off the table I'll weld the the rest of it from the outside well, with that bottom done, um, or as done as it needs to be here, I'm gonna come up with those vertical supports. So I'll get those cut and tacked in. Um, and actually what I might do is I'll pull this out of the frame, lay it flat so I can clamp this down and clamp those vertical supports. So I'll probably do that. And then once I get to that point, I'm gonna move a block to here so I know that I, if I slide all the way over, um, I will need one more block here. So the vertical support touches that, and I've got this one. I'll shuffle back to here and clamp those two verticals. And once those are attached, I can come around the outside and complete all the welds. I just didn't want to do it right on top of the table. So let me get these cut, and then I'll lay the verticals and we'll get those welded on. bring this in here. I'm going to push this tight against it and put a clamp so it doesn't want to walk out at all. Okay, that is snug. So now this, I'll slide that to there. I'm going to clamp in on this one. one will go here, butt it up against this side, bring it one more clamp, all right so that is, now that is ready to weld.
Now I hadn't planned on putting anything across the top. Now that it's sitting here, I think I do want to put something. So I'm just going to run angle iron across the top here to help tie it all together. All right, so with this piece cut, it's, it'll drop right in. I will need to just put a few tacks in that, but with that, and this big mineral, not just mineral block, it's an all-purpose block for the goats. Um, that sits there just fine. I think it's plenty strong that I don't need to weld any angles, but what I do think I need, might need it for is I'm gonna run them from up higher down to low so that as the goats are hitting and pushing on stuff that this block doesn't come off as easy. So I will get a couple quick measurement and just weld something to the inside, down the inside. And with that, I'll get those things welded up, punch a few holes, I'll be ready to throw it in the goat pen. And I'm running out of daylight, so we'll do this really quick. Okay, now two longer supports. Now we're gonna do this, I'm just gonna set it in the front edge, run it almost to the top of the back, and then we'll just knock these off square, and then I'll copy that cut, so. This will be goat proof. Nothing fancy, but that works. All right. So I am ready to drill the holes and I'll see you out by the goats. On second thought, this will be easier than drilling. Now that's a lot easier than drilling. Okay, let's head out to the goats. So as you're watching this video, you probably noticed I'm not a professional welder. So I got into this just to make projects around my house, and around the farm. Um, I'm hoping this table helps me make stuff a lot better than I have in the past. And based on what I've seen so far, it's gonna help. So um, if you are looking for the next best welder on the internet, I'm not your guy. Uh, if you're looking for someone that does projects around that you might find around your house or farm, whoa, uh, I might be the guy for that. Anyway, so let me jump in here. They're all going to try and get out because I've got this uh, feed block on here, for that mineral block, so they will be excited to get chewing on that. So I'll wrestle them a little bit as they try and get this set up. They might knock the camera down, but I'll see what I can do.
Well, I got it up. Didn't knock the camera over. I'm Derek Oxenham with Rusted Ox. Keep building.